I got an email from Mr. Ashens asking if I wanted to take a look inside a nodulus rift. Now, nodulus rift, if the name sounds familiar, you may be thinking of oculus rift. But this is a kind of spoof of the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, and it's basically for aromas, and not good ones at that. This was designed to uh, promote a South Park game called Fractured But Whole. And uh, as part of that, various journalists were given these, and the unit has... Uh, it, well, basically, you strap it around your head, it's a strap-on, and uh, then this bit sits in your nose. And now... I looked at videos of this in use, and they were all, they had a USB connect going in here. I don't know if that was a standard thing, it was just during a promotional audience that was just to keep them powered. Um, but uh, there's also a little switch in the bottom here, not sure what that does. I've tried the switch, nothing happens. I've tried plug it into USB, it drew about 30 milliamps, nothing lit up, nothing happened. Um, so I'm not sure if it's data along USB or if it's uh, Bluetooth or something that it communicates with. But the idea is that during the game, uh, it lets rip with farts in your face, which doesn't sound particularly palatable, uh, presumably through this little slot here. Uh, another thing that uh, Mr. Ashens sent was this lovely Ashens groat. That's quite smart, uh, which has the image of Mr. Ashens on it with a one for the groat, and then rather pleasingly, uh, it's metal, and uh, it's got this sort of raised symbol of the hands like that with the sofa in them. That's quite smart. Intact we trust. It's also, oh, actually, that's a date, isn't it? MMXV. The Roman numerals, uh, that's 2015. Okay. That's quite neat. I like that. So uh, let's get this open. And as I say, Mr. Ashens has a, has a little go at opening it himself, which is good because he's revealed uh, that there's a couple of screw holes under the foam here. So let's get this open and take a look inside it. I'm not actually sure who would appreciate uh, having someone fart in their face. I mean, ultimately, it's the internet, isn't it? So there are going to be websites dedicated to that, to that and I suppose in a way it's like cake farts. Uh, now, what size is that screw? What shape is it? Oh, let's get the right button there. It's Torx. It's quite a small Torx. Uh, yeah, so cake farts is about the closest I can think of, except, of course, uh, you'd have to have the cake in your mouth for that full farting experience to get the... Yeah, that's all gone a bit abstract, hasn't it? To get the aroma... Uh, yeah, let's not go there. Uh, is this going to fit? Nope. Let's try another one. Is this going to fit? That's promising. Bit concerned because looking down these holes, it looks as though the uh, screws are quite far down. So I'm wondering how this dispenses the aroma in controlled portions. Uh, when Mr. Ashen sent me the picture uh, of the unit, it was partially open. And I could see what looks like little air pumps inside, which is quite novel. I don't think this is going to reach those screws. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, it's kind of, it's gone in, it's gone in. If I can just hold that like that and then just spin the end of it, I might get that out. Um, if the, I can work out what's in here, I'll maybe give it a go and see uh, if it squirts the aroma out on when uh, I power the motors up, or if I can find a way to test it inside. How are we doing, how are we doing, how are we doing... I think we're almost in. I think we're actually in. So what have we got? There's a lithium cell. There are the little air pumps. Now, the air pumps remind me of the little... Uh, I took one apart. That was the... If you search my videos for smoke from your hands, you'll see a little pump I took apart. Um, did I take it apart? I think I took it apart in that video, and it looks very similar to these. Um, and it, it basically has a rotating cam inside that just nudges three little rubber diaphragms. Certainly the one I took apart, I think it had that. Why are there two of them? Two pumps. I thought there might just be one for the fart aroma. So that's going to the end. It's blowing out. Okay, and then the pipe is coming back from this. Are these the aroma cartridges? Do these come off? 
It looks like the watch case backs. I don't know if these are designed to come off. Uh, if I get them along those pliers, are these going to... Oh, drops along those pliers. Are these going to fit? Let's see if I can uh, get this in there and unscrew that. Oh, I think I'm just going to scratch this up. That is not really going to fit. What have I got that can go in there and turn that? Pins. Scissors? This is a gross misuse of tools. Oh, that is rotating. Oh, that is scratching up something rotten though. I, I, oh, I know what to do, I know what to do. Metal pins, drills. Two smallest drills. Let's see if I can snap my drills. So I wonder what's in here then. But maybe just a little pad of the aroma stuff. That is rotating, that's very promising. That's come out. Ooh. So we got here. We've got the port here. There's the air hose in there, but th this is the air inlet in the middle that screws into that. So there must be a pad in here. I'm getting a very slightly eggy smell. Doesn't seem that strong. Hmm. Uh, so what about the other side? Get the drills into that as well and see if I can prise it open. I'm guessing that they didn't really intend for these to be maintained. Okay, is this one going to smell any different? Okay, children, when you take an aroma cartridge out of virtual reality type arrangement that's going to put out a strong smell, I'm seeing stars, do not sniff it. Fucking hell. Jeez. That was stinking. I wonder if these cartridges have been kind of used. I kind of like, I want to actually go a bit further into this. But uh, I want to find out what actually holds the aroma thing in. Oh, I think I was almost sick there. I had a plastic bowl that just came to hand very, very handily there. Not so much an explosion containment pie dish as a vomit containment pie dish. Oh dear. Uh, so are these, what are these? Is that riveted in or is it... Uh, It looks like a small hex bit. Do I really want to open this? Do I really want to uh, unleash any more of that aroma? Oh dear. Uh, let's try opening those. Ooh. Uh, is that going to fit? No, that's not going to fit. Uh, can I open these? Oh, that, that's promising. Uh-oh. What's going to be in here? Shall we uh, zoom in a bit so you can actually see? Share the moment. They're not super tight. Is this going to contaminate my fingers with fart smell? So, what holds the aroma then? Oh, it's not this foam, is it? It can't be the foam. I thought that was the ceiling foam. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure whether... I was expecting a little felt pad or something in these. I don't think it's the rubber ring. Because the air is flowing in there and then theoretically back out here. 
Unless they've just basically put liquid in there. That might work, although you'd think it would actually just soak out. This looks like... Oh. I don't see anything to actually absorb that in there. There's no pad. That's strange. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, rest of the nodulus rift. I'll just pop my drills out the way. In fact, I'll pop them right back in the drill box before I end up losing them. Oh. Yeah, sniffing those was not a good idea. I'm feeling a bit nauseous now. That was really strong. So, do they have replaceable cartridges? Maybe has something been taken out? Uh, so here's the pumps themselves, and they appear to be glued in. I don't know if there's much point in trying to remove these, because uh, they are just fixed firmly down to the centre. I think what we're really interested in here is the circuitry. So we've got a switch here with a little transistor on it. I wonder why the transistors. There's a wire off. That's, uh, that's not going to help an awful lot. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Oh, there's a switch off. There's the lithium cell. There's the circuitry. Everything is well glued in. Uh, is that circuit board glued in too? I don't see any fixings. In a way, I'm guessing that this was uh, basically it's a, a, because it was such a specialist thing. It might be either designed purely for the South Park experience, or oh, that's actually, that switch actually turns power on from the uh, the lithium cell. By the look of it, it must just to be uh, to turn it off in storage. Not seeing screws. I'm seeing a regulator. I'm seeing a little six pin device that I'm guessing is probably a transistor, K-O-V-W. Is there one at the other side? Uh, uh, there are other transistors in this. There's about one, two, three, four, four transistors in that little thing. I wonder if that's actually a charge regulator, particularly if it's going in any way to the uh, USB port. The main chip in this, I should actually zoom out, shouldn't I? I'm, I'm just not, I'm forgetting. I zoom in, then forget to zoom out. The main chip in this is an Atmel. It's an Atmel. And it's been laser engraved, so it's quite actually hard to see. ATS AM021 E16A-F So what's the wiring in here? We've got the, the the power will be coming in from the oh there's actually another little component in there. It uh, looks like a transistor, but I'm not really sure if that's for battery management. Uh, the battery itself has a circuit board for protection on it. So, uh, I wonder, is this actually getting data over the USB as well as power? The fact it's got a battery suggests it should be standalone. That would almost suggest that it might be a Bluetooth unit. Uh, since this is uh, not really going to be put into use again, I don't think I should. I think I'll cut the lithium cell off for a start. One wire at a time. And cutting the wires slightly different lengths so they don't short out. Now, can I get that circuit board out from in there? Is it really just glued in? It does really look like it's glued in. So it's now unglued. Oh, there's more circuitry in the back. Oh, that looks like a little Bluetooth receiver in the back. Yeah, this looks like it's Bluetooth. Can you see the little uh, module there? Let's uh, just zoom in on that just briefly. Bluetooth, I'd guess. Uh, so this looks like it's designed to couple with the game using the Bluetooth and then depending on the smell, 
I just still don't get this. Where was the store, the smell stored? Was it just, was the chemical just actually just pasted into these? Or was there some, was there some cartridge? Uh, maybe there was a liquid in these, but you'd think that would, there's a risk that if it was liquid, it would risk going back up that tube. And, you know, actually it's too much of it coming out. I'm not sure. Oof. Yeah. Everything's minging now. I think, uh, my fingers are just minging incredibly. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting device. I don't know if this is going to be the future of virtual reality. Um, it's quite a chunky, heavy device because of the two pumps, and it's also quite a strong plastic casing. It's robust. A lot of work has been put into this plastic casing. This isn't a metal casing, is it? I think it's just sprayed black. Is that a plastic? That's not a metal casing, is it? Let's, uh, let's scrape it. Let's do an Ave and scrape into it. Actually, um, I think that's plastic. It's a very heavy, dense plastic. I'm not getting reflection off that, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's metal, but it feels very. It actually does feel very metallic. I think it's plastic though, just a very dense plastic, a white plastic, that's odd. Very crunchy. So, um, yes, what can I say? It, it, that this is uh, just, it's designed to put out two aromas out the central hose when you uh, play the game. Um, I'm guessing that, you know, in the future another option would have been, it was. this was probably just the easiest way they thought of doing it, was just to blow air in. It, it is good because as soon as air blows into these, it will blow the aroma out through the uh, the pipe. But um, I would have thought that for a, in a sort of, if you're doing this on more serious scale that you wanted more aromas, something like an inkjet printer where an, a cartridge with lots of the aromas in it could then just have a wee tiny piezoelectric or heated nozzle and could spare a fine mist of droplets uh, with one airflow would have been a, quite a good solution for, for aroma. Although having said that, there is the problem that you just want the aroma there briefly when it's needed and then away again with these ones. As long as the pump's running, it's blowing the aroma out. Yeah, I'm still perplexed at uh, just where the aroma is supposed to be. All I'm seeing here are these empty metal discs. It's not impregnated into the metal, is it? I was expecting little felt pads, little foam pads or something like that. That's quite odd, but certainly it was very worth taking apart. It's quite an interesting device.